sentencing is happening later today in the Cipriano murder case. In about an hour from now, Tucker Cipriano and Mitchell Young are expected to be sentenced to prison, life in prison without parole. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Edwards is live outside the courthouse in Pontiac right now. And when they speak before Judge Shalina Kumar today, Tara, they are expected to talk about the brutal attacks and the murder of Tucker's father? Well, Alicia, details are not clear right now, but we do know that both men are planning emotional statements. We know that Tucker Cipriano will address the family as well as the community. And as you mentioned, Tucker Cipriano and Mitchell Young, both now guilty of first degree murder, so they will receive mandatory life sentences. Now, Tuesday night, Seven Action News spoke briefly on the phone to Mitchell Young from jail, who says he was a victim. However, it came out during the trial that forensic evidence showed blood spatter on Young's pants, indicating that he was standing over Robert Cipriano as he was being beaten to death with a baseball bat. Tucker's mother, Rose, and brother, Sal, were critically injured. Now, here is what Young had to say last night. I never had the intent to hurt anyone. I didn't go there intending to harm anyone, let alone to kill someone. That's just, that, that, that's a terrible thing. They're saying that I did this to people that I've never met, that I had absolutely nothing against, at a place that I've never been to, with someone that I've been the acquaintance of for about three weeks, a little less than a month. I spoke to Tucker's attorney also, and he tells me that he expects Tucker to take responsibility for his part in the crimes. He also hopes that his family is able to heal. We'll have more on this on later editions of 7 Action News at 5. Live from the Oakland County Courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.